All right, so as a lot of you probably know at this point, a new LR Super 17 is on the way for both Global and JP. And uh, if you missed the Dokkan Now program that dropped about an hour ago, don't worry, you didn't really miss anything because it was pretty bad this time around. Um, one major screw up they had was uh, literally half an hour before the Dokkan Now program dropped, they released the animations and the details for Super 17 on Twitter. Um, the only explanation I have is that somebody forgot about Daylight Savings Time and, you know, wanted to schedule it half an hour after Dokkan Now came out, but instead released it before because of that one hour disparity. I guess that's the only real reason that happened. But anyways, yeah, uh, today in this video, I'm going to quickly break down the upcoming 17 for you guys, who, by the way, is dropping in about two days, so you got some time to prepare for his release if you do plan to summon for him. And uh, we're on the official Dokkan Twitter page here. We got the, the art here, which looks pretty awesome. I do like the art a lot. And uh, he's Extreme Tech, by the way. So Extreme Tech does get a bit of a buff, which is nice, as uh, obviously this type does need the, uh, the boost. But moving on to his leader skill, I know it's a little bit small, so uh, just bear with me. I'll try to be as clear as I possibly can in reading it for you. DT bosses or androids, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%. And then passive is attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional attack and defense plus 17%. Hold on, actually, this is probably not the best way to read it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop over to the homie Goresh's page. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pop over to Goresh's page, where he has the details much better laid out. Um, so here we go. Okay, shout out to Goresh, you guys know what's up. And uh, yeah, Super Seventeen GT bosses or androids keep plus four HP attack and defense plus one hundred and fifty percent, passive attack and defense plus one hundred and seventy percent gains an additional attack and defense plus seventeen percent per androids category ally, attacking in the same turn other than this character. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 17% per target Goku category ally, attacking in the same turn, other than this character. Gain an additional attack plus 17% and damage reduction plus 17% after receiving an attack from the end of that turn for 3 turns. And then high chance to gain key plus 1 whenever an attack is received, max of key plus 7. Active skill, Shocking Death Ball, able to be used once this character is hit seven times or more during battle. Seven times or more. Ability, ultimate damage, and lowers attack and defense by 17% for one turn. Links are Android Assault, Gear and Faith. Um, well, I think he messed up here. Uh, so forget this, Fuse Fighter, Nightmare, GT, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And his categories are GT Bosses, Androids, Artificial Life Forms, Target Goku, Inhuman Deeds, and Power Absorption. So, um, obviously a lot of people complaining about lack of big bad bosses, but the AGL 17 didn't have it either, even though I feel like he should, but he doesn't, so I guess they just follow that trend. And in terms of his leader skill, I'm fine with that. GT bosses, you know, the first legit GT bosses lead is great, and then obviously androids make sense. Uh, super attacks could have been better, um, but it had some more conditions or rather effects, right? Like raising attack and defense or, um, I don't know. There's just something more, but it's okay. His passive looks really good, but it's kind of conditional. Because obviously if you don't have the prerequisite allies, then he's getting 170% attack and defense without the extra 17%. But 170% is still a lot, right? He's still going to have some really good attack and also some really good defense, especially with the additional 17% here and also 17% damage reduction after receiving an attack uh, for three turns. And then he's going to be able to get his 18 key super off pretty easily after taking a few hits because, of course, he gets up to 7 key. So, I mean, to me, he looks very good. I think he's going to hit really hard. Like, he's going to do a lot of damage under the right circumstances if you have... Uh, both these conditions met, and his defense should be well over 200,000 as well. Uh, and then, of course, the damage reduction will additionally help him with uh, the defense, the tanking. The only thing is his, his uh, active skill, man. It, it's so bad. 
the condition that is it's so bad i don't know why they keep giving these gt units bad active skills like it's the it's, it's like a trend the uh goku and the vegeta that just came out the dual dokkan fest amazing units terrible active skills right so i don't know i don't know but um aside from that i i, I like it man i think he's gonna be a great unit um i think he's getting a lot of unnecessary hate a lot of unwarranted hate if you will but you know people are gonna overreact in the beginning so it is what it is like people are either gonna go oh my god he's busted or yo this guy's trash i'm skipping you know so yeah i think he's fine i don't think he's busted but i think he's very good and obviously once the actual unit comes out we'll find out exactly how good he is and uh, do some tests and all that stuff but that's the super 17 for you obviously we got to see these animations uh that's the wrong page hold on let me go back to the official dokkan twitter page here uh dokkan official and yeah let's check out these animations let me pause my music and turn up the volume a little bit and enjoy Man, I love the uh, active skill and the KO screen so much. It, they look so good. It's just a shame we're almost never gonna see it. <laughs> I mean, not not almost ever. Like on Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road. We'll see it here and there, but for for like Dokkan events and stuff like that, it's not gonna happen, right? Seven hits is is, is pretty hard for Dokkan events. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's my main gripe with him. Aside from that, I think his animations look great. Um, not mind blowing, but but great, and his passive looks awesome. Uh, you know, a little bit weird though. Like, okay, here, here's my here's my thing. I wish. It was buffs, like the additional 17% attack and defense from GT bosses and target Goku. Or GT bosses and androids. That would have been much better. That would have been much better. Because on GT bosses, he's not going to be complete, right? Because he doesn't get that additional buff from GT bosses. Which is kind of weird, because that's like his team. He's, he's the only, at least the first legit leader for the category. Um, but that was a weird choice, I would say. That was, a, that was a pretty weird choice, but aside from that, um, yeah, I, I'm I'm still I'm still excited for him. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and say like, oh my god, I can't wait for him, man. I'm gonna go all out loud. I'm gonna wail out for him. Like, yo, if it's an android, the only ones that are gonna make me wail out are 18 and probably 21. Probably 21. 18 more so, you guys know, of course, but 21 definitely. Well, you know. Get me to spend a little bit too but for 17 we'll do like 500 stones so we'll do maybe two videos and uh if we don't get him we don't get him right this is not one of those units that i must have it's, it's one of those units that it'd be nice to have but i don't like have to have him so anyways yeah uh, as i said in the beginning of this video he's dropping in about two days uh stay tuned for the summoning stream and the summoning video probably the day after maybe a collab we'll see and uh, aside from that, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Super 17, how you guys uh, evaluate him on paper right now before we get to see the showcases, we get to test him out, him out for ourselves. And uh, that's it. Yo, Bandai, do better. All right, stop, stop leaking stuff before you're, you're supposed to reveal them in these like hype programs or hype streams. Like it's just dumb. Stop, you gotta stop doing that. And uh, oh, also if you missed the Doka Now program, uh, show the host of Dokkan now is is leaving um, Dokkan. I don't know if he's still with Bandai or he's moving on to another company or whatever it may be, but he's gone. And we got a new host. It's a girl named Koto, who seems nice. I'm, I'm sure she's gonna be a great host, but kind of sad to see our boy show go. I'm not gonna lie. Like uh, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him. 
But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's today's uh, video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.